Hey Canucks fans, finally the Canucks are back in the win column. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Saturday, March the 7th. Here I am, just after 7 a.m., I'm at the Tawasin Ferry Terminal. We are on our way to Nanaimo, as all three of our kids are bowling in a provincial bowling championship. Jacob got a bye because he's last year's champion, so he doesn't have to bowl until tomorrow. For Kayla, there weren't enough girls to bowl in two days, so they don't. she doesn't bowl until tomorrow. So it's only Sean bowling today. I expect him to advance, and then all three will be bowling for medals tomorrow. I was at work last night, so I didn't get a chance to watch the game, but I went home and watched the brilliant 6-3 victory for the Vancouver Canucks. So many good things coming from the game. The most important one is the Canucks are finally back in the win column after losing four straight, after they saw their playoff position slip and slip and slip to a point where actually at the start of last night's action they were actually out of the playoffs but with their win they're back in the first wild card spot tied with Winnipeg of course you got Arizona and Nashville uh, and a couple other teams chasing them and of course we are start trying to track down Calgary for third place in the Pacific and as I've talked about it's obviously important to get that third place spot in the Pacific then you're playing in your division and not having to face a team like St. Louis or Colorado although we did well in the first round as the crossover. So about last night's game, so good. That third line combined for six points. Adam Gaudet with two assists, Zach McEwen with two goals, and of course, Anton Roussel with a goal and assist. And especially on that fifth Canucks goal, the one uh, strong four checking, a really, really wonderful hustle play by Roussel, the way that he basically darted from the, from the crease all the way to uh, behind the net so he can, he can get the loose puck and send it out to McEwen in the goal, in the goal mouth uh, for it. McEwen's second goal. McEwen, two goals in only seven minutes um, and 15 seconds of ice time, so you know that's gonna go up. And I really like how, how Travis Green had those three out there with only three minutes left, and that's how, that's how McEwen got a second of the game. So an excellent game by the third line, and I think Roussel knows that he hasn't played that well recently, so it was great to see him have a really, really good game. Fourth line, just okay. Um, of course, with Sutter and Mott and Vertanen. First line was good. Miller, Pedersen, Toffoli looked dangerous once again. And a really, really nice two-on-one goal. Pedersen showing the, such extreme patience. The guy has more patience than a doctor. And that was a wonderful pass to, to JT Miller. JT Miller, another strong game and a goal and assist. He had an assist on the opening goal for the Canucks. That was Troy Stetcher's really nice goal. So we got Stetcher with a goal. McEwen with two. Roussel with one. Nice goal mouth. Uh, goal mouth conversion from Gaudet. So we got two for McEwen, one for Stetcher, one from Roussel, one from Miller, and then one from Tanner Pearson, our empty net specialist. So overall, really, really good. Demko made 29 saves, looks sharp, especially in Colorado, dominated really at least the shot clock in the first period. But I really like the way that the Canucks um, shut things down over this final two periods, limiting Colorado, the dangerous Colorado Avalanche. Yes, they're missing Ranton in a couple of hours, but the dangerous, they still have Landis they still have McKinnon, and they held them to only 14 shots over the final two periods. So an excellent, excellent showing for the Canucks, and uh, a really, really much needed win. A couple other things real quick. I know Travis Green talked earlier in the day about why he has Louis Erickson on the second line and Jacob Tan on the fourth line. And uh, basically, to make a long story short, he trusts Louis Erickson defensively. And when he's asking Bo Horvat's line, the second line, to be a more defensive presence, like yesterday, trying to shut down McKinnon's line, you can only do so much, McKinnon still had two assists. Um, then, of course, uh, Louis Erickson, the better defensive player, Jake Vertanen, the better offensive player. You just hope that Jake Vertanen doesn't get lost in the fourth line and become ineffective because they just simply don't get him as much ice time or he's not able to utilize his speed with more skilled players. But, um, you know, that's a first world problem, so to speak. And I, I don't think we need to question, nor should we question Travis Green's um, motivations or his decision making, especially when it comes to matchups. And we know Travis Green is a big matchup guy. Lastly, hopefully you listen to the large cast um, episode that Marie Huey and I were on. We recorded Thursday night, went up late Thursday, shared it all throughout yesterday. So thanks to everyone. Thanks for Tej and Gulu and Nav and Sat for having us on Thursday night. You guys keep saying it was the, the most fun episode that you've had. I appreciate that. That's a compliment to us and we loved have, being on there. Um, you guys make it easy for us, very professional and we hope that we can come uh, join you guys again. And uh, by the way, that little video of us doing that Bangor dancing, well, I think the four of them were good dancers because the three of them and then Marie were good. I don't know what I was doing. Um, some interpretive dance sign language in the front seat. Got over 3,000 views on Twitter now and about another 1,200 combined on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So thanks. 
It was just something fun, but obviously inspired the Canucks to a win because the Canucks are undefeated every time we record a Bangra music video in my car. So there we go. Enjoy the day. I will um, give you updates on Twitter of Sean's progress and of course the kids' progress tomorrow. Probably check in with you either later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. But for now, let's enjoy this Canucks 6-3 win over the Colorado Avalanche. We are safely in a playoff spot at least until the end of tonight. Leave a comment below. I'd love to redirect and reply. Let me know what you thought of last night's game. The performance of the third line. Thatcher Demko, nice bounce back game. Um, JT Miller, strong play. Whatever you want to talk about, I'd love to re redirect and reply as always. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Go Canucks go.